When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, you know I have been going crazy on Bayi for the past several months. I like to call it Little Treat Headquarters. I've been able to find so many fun and amazing little items that I've shared with you guys. But something I feel like I've just like flashed in passing really quick is the vintage stationery that I started hoarding. I almost said collecting, collecting, hoarding. You know, are you a glass half full, half empty kind of person? But we've actually done a few videos, I think, like this in the past. I used to buy bulk vintage stationery items on Etsy, predominantly um, like bulk Sanrio vintage stationery. Once I was able to find some of these items on Bayi, like I was so happy because I feel like it's a huge variety of like some characters that I don't even know slash did not even know existed or that I never knew like never knew that there was stationery for these little guys. So I feel like it's going to be quite fun and you guys know I could just yap for eternity but why don't I just start showing you guys some of these items because I just got a huge buy box in the mail sometime last week. I don't quite remember the day. First off I will start out with something slightly disappointing so I think I'm just going to show you guys like some separate items first and then I think at the end we'll just flip through these mystery stationery uh things which I think I showed this to you guys in another video but not these other items anyway you guys I thought I was buying like memo a notepad something that I kind of get interested in from time to time I don't know if I would call it like even a niche interest but throughout several times in my life boy did I think I was somehow going to be a I can't even think of what the technical term is not paleontologist but but you're there you're there with the mummies like that was all I cared cared about. Like from first memory of being born, like up until the age of five or so, mummies. A hundred percent tombs, mummies, sarcophaguses. And yeah, so <laughs> I saw this and thought it was a memo pad. It's not. It is one single sticker. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one single sticker, but I thought it was like a whole memo pad. I should have known because like literally how much writing room is that? That honestly like does not even make any sense if I would have spent half a beat having a thought. I think it was like literally $2, so $2 sticker. All right, something that I am so excited about because I think that this is a whole kit. Y'all know from my other like little treat hauls that something I've loved collecting lately is vintage phone charms, keychains. I kind of feel like that's almost having a moment right now. Like every day, like Pinterest boards, I see like bags decorated with tons of keychains and vintage charms. Let me know, is that just a me thing? So this was a set with two albums and I feel like I really liked the zebra one the best because you guys know I like black and white but these are tiny little photo album keychains. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Gosh is it? Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's wild. Y'all know those like vintage, I guess they are called like magnetic photo albums. I'm trying to see how it peels back, but it actually has like the plastic laminate sheet. I feel like these are small lines of adhesive because you're basically supposed to be able to make a miniature scrapbook, miniature photo album. Now I think that these were originally designed for something that I feel like we kind of had in the States for a little while. Like you remember at the mall, when you could go and like get photos taken not quite like the photo booth strips but like little tiny stickers there were a couple malls in our area that you could have that done but I feel like that was and maybe still is a big thing in Japan um but it actually came with this as well which I don't know how or if I'm gonna be able to use this in the printer but you can actually print off these itty bitty teeny tiny little pictures for that album. How cute is that? And I think you get 16 sheets and each page has, oh, maybe they're saying you get a hundred. I don't know. 
But like, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like when we go to Disney, I'm gonna have to like, you know, take a bunch of pictures. Maybe I can make like a little photo album keychain just based on that trip. All right, you guys know maybe something else that I absolutely love is frogs. Anytime I can find cute vintage frog stuff, I'm all over it. So I got two sets. This one I actually think is called like a magic paper, magic notebook, because I think what the instructions are implying is that you can write a note and then it will dissolve in water. Although I feel like what paper does not dissolve in water? Maybe this dissolves in a really colorful way. I don't know. I really do not know. But look at how cute these designs are. Oh, no, just the first sheet feels different. I was like, okay, does the paper feel different? It really does not. That's like so entertaining because I'm like, what? I wish I had a cup of water here, honestly. Another design. I always love these pads of paper because there's usually like four or five different designs in one tablet. Another design. And is there... Oh yeah, I thought that this was like particularly cute. It's almost like you can fold this little frog in half and this makes like a little envelope. It's very, very cute. So yeah, five different designs in this tablet. I feel like I'm missing one. Did I show you this one yet? I don't know. I don't remember. And then the other one is a character I have never heard of in my life called You Run Run Frog? You Run Frog? I'm not saying it correctly, but this is actually like a huge stack of paper. I don't think that there is another, like I didn't think that this was like a mystery bundle or anything. I think it's just supposed to be this complete set. Oh my God, there definitely is other stuff in here. I opened it up and two miniature Rilakkuma stationery sets fell out. These look like they are miniature notes with miniature envelopes and little sticker seals on the back for the envelope. So you are supposed to get 32 pieces of paper. And this is kind of like the frog tablet that I just showed you guys because there's a bunch of different designs. It looks like it has faint lines. So that is one of the designs. Then we have this one. And then we have this one. with you. <laughs> it's so funny. I feel like I've said this like multiple times in other videos, but I kind of wonder if like note writing is still a thing in school. That was like such a big thing that I was hugely into. Like we actually had a Sanrio store when I was still in high school. I used to go there like once a week and get fancy paper so that I would have all these different little designs and stuff tiny little miniature envelopes so that I could have like the fanciest, cutest notes at school. All right, it looks like we have a ton of different little envelope designs. It looks like it kind of matches the stationery. Oh, I love that one. All the frog faces. Did I show you that one already? I feel like I did, yeah. And then it looks like we have several other ones. Oh my God, is he crying? Why? I think that this, yeah, these are just more of the same envelopes that I just showed you guys. And then I will open this one because I think it is a mystery pack, but I think it's smaller, but since it has frogs on the front, I just tore this dang bear sticker and I really did not mean to. Uh, yeah, I feel like this was a much smaller stationary bundle, but I really just bought it for the frogs. Oh, that's fascinating. I loved this. I had envelopes just like this in high school. They were clear. So it says you can make friends if you're a frog. I love that. I thought that that was literally like printed on this frog paper, but he's actually in a clear envelope. So it looks like we get just a few precious little sheets of this. It's just solid yellow on the back. And then we get how many sheets of this. It looks like just one sheet that also just says you can make friends if you're a frog. And then it looks like the other designs 
are all like this, which is just adorable. It almost is like, he looks like a 3D frog design, you know? And then it looks like we do have a couple of other random sheets. So let's just go through that. We have angel baby paper. That's very curious. What does the bottom say there? Why do men love the immense sky? Do they? I don't know. So we just have a couple sheets like that. And it looks like one envelope that goes with that. Then we have this design, which almost looks like a picnic type. We have like a gingham. Oh, that's two separate pieces of paper too. The top design is cherries and it says sweetness is such fun and happy. Happiness. I love all this like little random. And then we have cherries on the top. And then the paper that goes with that is this like red and white gingham. It looks like a picnic blanket to me. And then I think these are probably all matching envelopes to that set. And we have three different types of fruit. We have cherries, apples, strawberries, and then that's the design on the reverse. And some of them, it looks like we got two of the same design. We have a few stickers left and then we have actually oh look there's actually quite a bit now this is like relatively plain stationary but once again we have such a shiny and ripe red color that's what it says on the strawberry paper it looks like we got paper that coordinates for each of the fruits apples strawberries and cherries yes sweet all right you guys moving on to my guilty pleasure items now this was one of the more expensive things that I bought I forgot to show you guys like look at how cute this is how the Macari order got shipped to me on Baiyi I think Swimmer is like a stationary brand but this had the frog paper in it anyway moving on to my guilty pleasure item that I paid quite more than these other items but I was obsessed with it you guys know we did a royal core stationery video like a couple years ago now i love like all things like louis the 14th and so i guess this was a sylvaneer from versailles and it's a folder but i was like you know what organization it'll help me stay organized i mean it wasn't like immensely expensive or anything it was just like more expensive than the other stationary items but literally i tried to even see if i could see another picture of this like anywhere on the world wide web and no no I could not so I was like all right like I don't know how old this is or anything else there's not oh it says Paris 2015 maybe it's not that old I don't know um and then I found this you guys guilty pleasure film I feel like it's almost embarrassing how much I like this movie but I feel like everybody has like a corny movie that they really love and this once again I was just like obsessed with this movie as a kid like it was kind of embarrassing this is something that I have seen quite a bit when browsing for stationery on Baiyi like I guess maybe this is a thing in Japan where it's almost like a label or something I've seen it for lots of movies like not just this individual one so I felt like this would be kind of interesting because it does have a lot of like behind the scenes pictures which I kind of really wish there was more of that you know like I love the old Dracula movie with Gary Oldman wish there was like background pictures behind the scenes pictures like why is there not a book with that and honestly this was only about four dollars and I could not resist because look at what it also came with you guys a movie ticket oh my god okay so yeah I was like all right am I ever gonna see this again in my life for three dollars with an original movie ticket from 1998 probably not all right so that was all the miscellaneous stationary items let's just do a quick flip through now of these and I'm not sure if this is like small sheets large sheets or if this is like envelopes I don't know I was so shocked and I'm pretty sure so most of the time like these bundles they they'll just show you like one or two sheets that's in here and then the rest of it is a mystery they usually just tell you like the number like you're gonna get 500 pieces of stationery 300 pieces of stationery um and so yeah I definitely saw this one because I was telling y'all I started collecting these key chains and straps as well which are called Lika. Now I think they make full-size dolls but I don't have any of those. I just like the little phone strap dolls. So this is three envelopes for that 
character. And then I think I also saw some bear items and my mom loves teddy bears. So I feel like I'm gonna give her all of the bear stuff that I see. Then it looks like we have two adorable little cartoon monkey papers. One is just a brown envelope and then the other one says monkey's banana boat. Wow, he has an exciting life. A banana boat. <laughs> what is this bear? We only have one envelope like this. It says it is so peaceful in the forest. The bear is under the tree. I love honey. And it's this little cartoon bear. We have Donald and Daisy. Very cute. Little Mew, a small rabbit, and a big ribbon. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, so many of these characters, I have never... Who's that? I don't know. But he's cute. Sunday picnic. We're having a picnic on Sunday. You don't say. Is it a sheep? A lamb? A goat? I don't know. Oh, okay. Something else for my mom. Gudetama. She loves Gudetama as well. Very, very cute. Two, three envelopes that are like this. They're just basic polka dot designs. Oh, adorable. Okay. Hello Kitty lavender. Oh, that's fascinating. This feels almost like cardstock. So we have two Hello Kitty lavender. Oh, that is a postcard. Y'all, I was like so confused. So this is an envelope and then this is a postcard. And y'all, I cannot even describe the amount of like super niche Hello Kitty stationery that I have been tempted with. Once again, if I was like in high school, I would have loved to find all this stuff because I I actually, my whole bedroom when I was in high school was like hot pink Hello Kitty. I had Hello Kitty border paper like all around my room. So yeah, if I could have found like niche Hello Kitty stuff, I would have like been over the moon. All right, we have several sheets of like a very youthful looking Mickey and Minnie. And it looks like this was all part of the same pad because it's all like cooking themed things. Then we have a couple, the Little Mermaid. Wow, this also looks like we got one of each design. Little Mermaid. I feel like that's something you don't see too often. That one's cute. That one's like my favorite. And then there's that one. Yas. And then we have Real Akuma. Oh, oh, this is like kind of still intact, but this looks like it was a pad of paper as well. Real Akuma, but they're all dressed like cats. <laughs> ah, it's falling apart, but oh, ooh, oh my gosh frog paper <gasps> every time I see a frog I just like my heart is filled with joy okay here's the last Rilakuma design before we move on to frogs this is adorable look there's tadpoles there's frogs and he's in a bottle this is so cute I'm definitely gonna have to use like Google Translate just because I'm curious what the little characters are saying why it says danger they almost look like they're doing like science lab or something but look at all the different designs this is like seriously perfect for my life <gasps> there's so many look at this one he's got like a beaker they're definitely doing some kind of scientific work here and then this one looks like you can cut this apart and then fold it and you have like a little book see like these two pieces go oh look I bet you're just supposed to fold it you don't even have to cut it you just fold it so that's the cover and that's the inside y'all I'm I'm so excited. I know frogs have become like so trendy <laughs> over the last couple of years. I feel like frogs are like my most like normal interest. <laughs> And then we have this character, which I've never seen as well, but it's very cute. It says, sweet girls. And it's just blank on the back. This also kind of looks like you could fold it over and make a miniature booklet. I don't think I've ever bought one, but some of the stationery I've seen, it almost looks like it's an activity book. Like it looks like stationery, but there's lots of pages, kind of like the frog thing. I showed you like some of it looks like, oh, you're supposed to like cut it out or fold it over or like there's specific instructions that I can't read. All right, you guys, last little bit. That's so cute for the day. I feel like I need a sippy sippy. I'm drinking coffee. <sighs> and I have the brownie batter. Have y'all ever tried that? The Dunkin' Donuts, which it's so funny because I've never been to like a physical Dunkin' Donuts in my life, but I like the at-home stuff, like the at-home Keurig coffee pods and the at-home creamers. And they came out with a brownie batter flavor and it's so delicious, especially if you like chocolate coffee flavors. 
All right, starting out strong right on top, we have classic bear paper. I almost feel like that could go with, oh look, I wonder if we're gonna see a lot of that. Like here's lavender kitty paper. I wonder if a lot of this paper coordinates with the envelopes that we just saw. Look, here's a great example of like the activity stuff. Oh my God, there's like tons of paper. Okay, I'm gonna, well, here we go. Here's all the dog stuff. So this is like literally, I think this must have come from one of those activity book tablets like I was just telling you guys about because like this is very clearly like you're supposed to fold it up you can write on the other side and then this looks like maybe you would fold it over and make kind of like a little envelope but this looks like maybe you cut some parts off and fold it into an envelope and then this kind of looks the same like there's all these fold lines and it says to and from very cute so does this one. This looks like you could make another miniature envelope. This looks like puppies in a basket kind of paper. Y'all, this is just so cute though. Um, and then this is just pretty plain on one side and right on the other side. And then this one looks like another like activity page that you would fold up. Very interesting. So then it looks like we have the same kind of activity envelope type paper, but this time with bunnies. And this is so, so cute. It kind of reminds me of sugar bunnies which is one of my favorite little Sanrio characters that I feel like sugar bunnies must be so popular in Japan because it looks like they even got like a comic series and a tv show even but I feel like they were only in the states like very very briefly in the early 2000s um look at all these bunny activity pages I feel like the layout is like exactly like the dogs we just saw except for this time it's bunny another plain piece oh my gosh okay I love this this is like cupy paper I envy your dreams cute cutely clud what does that say call back my dreams I don't know what they mean by that doesn't that say cutely clud but we have cupies cupy paper and then this is cupy paper it's a little rough on the edges but eh. you know I feel like that's how people are selling these bulk pads or bulk like mystery sets on Baiyi is like they have tons and tons of different paper packs and then they just like rip the pages out and then make like a ton of bundles. Ooh, this is from the year 2000. So here's the Lika. We got two pages of Lika paper. Then we have another Hello Kitty. This is random. I don't remember seeing an envelope that matched this. So anyway, I feel like that's why some of them look a little rough on the edges. This is a story about bears. I feel like that matched an envelope. This matched an envelope. Look, here's the Sunday picnic goat lamb, Donald and Daisy. So that matches that envelope we got earlier. Then we have Disney princess paper. I don't think we got an envelope that matched that, but here is the bunny. What did we call her? Mew bunny, I think. We have one sheet of Gudetama. This is so crazy. I feel like they're like in the exact same order as the envelopes, because then we had the polka dot envelopes so it looks like we get several sheets of paper that coordinate with that either it's like baby blue or polka dot oh my goodness we have one special karopi envelope I think that these are like money envelopes for gifts presents I have no idea what this is from 1990 look at that we have a foil a gold foil moon on the top but that's the only thing it says on the bottom I don't know if that like went with some kind of character or something. We have an adorable penguin sheet of paper. I'm not sure if this matches the same sweet girls paper or envelopes that we saw earlier, but this kind of looks like it could be a little bit of the activity type paper. Oh my gosh, these are so cute too. Look, we have several sheets like this. This is another character I've never seen. It says Miss Bear's Dream, but look at that. You can like fold each of these over. Oh my god, they have a different design on the inside too. These are so cute. It looks like some of them are un unlined paper and then some of them are lined paper. These are adorable. Miss Bear's Dream. I've never seen that character either. And then it looks like the last couple sheets in here. This is just stabilizing cardboard. Winnie the Pooh. 
So I'm definitely going to be giving this to my mom as well. She's recently gotten back into Winnie the Pooh. I feel like my mom is kind of like that. Like she phases characters, character interests in and out of her life. Like Duffy, Winnie the Pooh, Gudetama, Groot. And I'm trying to think of the other one. But those are like the characters that she like cycles through. All right, you guys, of course the camera overheating because I've been talking for 30 minutes straight. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like longer videos like this? Do you like shorter videos? Let me know what you guys are in the mood for lately. Let me know if you kind of like this stationary flip through. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done any kind of like stationary video. So let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be at the button down below, uh, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back very soon. Bye.